Hello guys and welcome back. You're watching Play of the J here on Twitch. So uh, apologies, uh, round number two had to be remade. Uh, there were some incorrect settings being used. So uh, everyone consented and uh, basically that's going to be a remake right now here on Aaron Gale. So um, looks like we won't be seeing a repeat of round number one as the circle was pretty much exactly the same. Um, and it uh, was interesting to see that teams did change their strategy a little bit here. Not too many early rotations. We did see that uh, extensive in particular did actually do uh, that in that early game. So we'll see how things develop here. Now, of course, it's going to be very dependent on the uh, flight path here. And the flight path is uh, very different from the first two uh, games that we saw here, or the first two starts. It is going all the way from Severni all the way to Novo. So we could expect to see a lot of uh, teams opting to go for the military island. And uh, I think that would be a, a very interesting turn of events. Of course, um, we'll see how teams shape up. We did see a lot of the same teams dropping into Yasnaya and Rozok as well as school and the eastern region of uh, next to the school but um but of course anything can change here guys so let's wait and see what is going to be happening so we are just about ready to get started here so um just give us a second and we will get going with the action And so the plane is coming in for this uh, remake of round number two, guys. Uh, so you could see a few teams actually deciding to, to drop in the earlier phases here. So let's see what happens. So it looks like Resurgence already opting to drop early here as they are going to go for Severni here. And they're the only team to actually drop over here. Airwolf also deciding to drop out. Got Gum Esports Yellow also dropping out quite early. Uh, this is L Dogs uh, dropping out as well. And looks like Frostfire again going to go for Rosok over here. And uh, DTYZ here also looks as though that they're going to go for Yasnaya yet again. Together sharing it with uh, Team BMW. So it looks as though these two teams really like to go to this area. Airwolf nice and spread out here near Stalber. Uh, Arthur Cosby has been pretty much in this region almost every single um, drop so far. And uh, Katao and uh, Exagon going to be moving a little bit. Uh, further away and uh, we already see that uh, maybe some differences over here uh, we see that the uh, squad number five under w club instead of going to george they are going to go for the military base but they are going to have to share this uh, oh sorry this is a dtyz if not mistaken so this is dtyz and we're going to see team extents also go here well mista is going to go for novo and uh, looks like uh, ooh, looks like it's going to be a military island game, guys. So going to be interesting to see how this one is going to play out here. A lot of teams here in the north. So uh, we do have the full resurgence squad here for this game. Now it looks like uh, things are already developing here. As um, we already see Batman getting knocked down here um, by the team members of uh, GG Easy here as they put up those uh, long range shots. And uh, looks like Batman will be finished off at the small mill to power as Unexpected is able to come out with it there. And uh, other teams are going to have to think about what they're going to be doing. Alan Lembo here uh, trying to put some shots onto a Snow Templar who are getting a little bit of a ways there. A uh, little bit of a wheelie action going on there to be precise. But Vengeance not able to make enough connections there, and uh, Hex should be able to make it away with no issues there. But looks like the apartment complex is going to be shared by RRQ as well as uh, the Team Capricorn. Capcorn, as uh, Alatas here is going to try and just stay um, as silent as possible here. He is a little bit on number four to one to be precise here. But it looks as though that he's going to try and press the issue here. But Zalman able to uh, knock him down here, and of course Zalman was the player here who was able to uh, bring home that first chicken dinner. Or his team but looks like in this game that unfortunately there's only two people that loaded in for team capcorn as uh there was a bit of a lobby jumping uh in the lead up to this game here so looks like they're gonna have to make do with just one player left available to them mbt here have reconvened here rex and tyler um nobby as well all hanging around together elliot's gonna be watching on the eastern flank here now we already see that in military base it is going to be uh, under w club here together with dtyz 
and uh, looks like um, uh, Chao, Chao just going to be uh, maneuvering himself a little bit through the warehouse uh, zone here. But he is going out in the open here. And uh, hopefully he doesn't get picked off by any of these um, players from DTYZ. But uh, it doesn't appear that they are looking here. And looks like that's an early game for Team Capcorn as the last player is caught out by the rest of um, RRQ who were occupying that uh, uh, apartment complex. He did come over from the school, I think. Uh, but that is going to be an early game for him. Resurgence going to have the longest distance here to actually make their rotation here. So uh, going to be interesting how to see this one is going to develop further. But uh, elsewhere, we will be looking at uh, others making their moves under W Club, deciding to withdraw from the military base here. As we see that uh, Extens here is still very much uh, in the southwestern part of this uh, complex as they are moving towards the the radio tower now or rather the the control tower so they are they do have quite a bit of distance between them but looks like uh things will be interesting to see how they develop you know as we see a lot of teams are actually moving to getting um some of these compounds here but kayo here actually going in very close proximity to two of the under w club players here and he's gonna make it uh a little bit more careful for him and the rest of Snow Templars as he escapes a little bit to just try and uh, survive this early stage of the game. But now we will be seeing that others are making their way and uh, uh, we already see Resurgence pulling down from Severni here. They are going to take uh, this route down um, from the looks of it, but they're going to have to be careful. There are quite a number of teams here and as we use the Fire Blaster here for Mista, we're going to put up some shots onto Team Vengeance here. So. Um, not able to land any meaningful connections here, but he's still going to try as the last vehicle coming through here is going to have both two players here. But uh, thankfully for them, there wasn't more of a presence here. But now it looks as though that uh, Kayo did manage to secure a vehicle here and he's going to attract a lot of shots here from under W Club. But not able to make any, uh, any hits there. Stick. Now we already see the Nesco. Nesco Sar here and uh, the rest of uh, Snow Templars here a little bit separated from uh, Kayo so they're gonna have to try to make do with the situation as best they can. Resurgence having just managed to get past MBT here uh, alive with no problems here. MBT now look as though they are gonna be on the move but they are looking for a little bit more uh, loot here. Now Arrowwolf um, sort of reconvening here on the eastern side. Entrop is gonna make his way down here as they look to try and get ahead as fast as possible. Other teams are going to be coming through this uh, angle here, but now seems like Novo is going to be um, a little bit of a hotspot here as Mox takes a, a few hits from Paku Paku. So Paku Paku going to be able to seal that first kill for his team and uh, Nissa looking um, looking like they want to hold this territory as long as they can. Now there is still going to be a long time here before this uh, zone starts closing in or finishes closing in, it's still going to be 4 minutes and 50, but all these teams in the northern region are going to have to think about making their rotations pretty soon here, otherwise it's going to be a little bit detrimental for their aspirations. Now, we see Elliot and uh, the rest of Frostfire here kind of uh, moving out of Rosalco already, and um, he's moving along this western side, but he's going to be careful, he doesn't come too close to uh, this zone here. I think they are just going to try and uh, look a little bit for another avenue to make their rotation here so Sophia and uh, Elliot leading the way here as they manage to also uh, move very much out of the way of any potential issues with L dogs here who are currently still in the water town but they are already starting to disengage I don't know whether or not that they have a vehicle at, at their disposal or not because it's going to be a long rotation coming down here we already see chance here in the middle of the or just south of the ruins here he's going to have to try and find a good avenue for himself as well um, MBT opting to stop along the way here as they're moving further down the map. Now, others here are still in the northern region. This is going to be a uh, TMV at BMW. Very much uh, still just going through a long rotation here as Ustar and uh, Kane here just trying to make do for the situation. I do think that they are looking for a vehicle here to aid with their rotation. It is going to be quite hazardous. Now, we see Arrowwolf going for the very, um, well, less... Uh, less traveled route as they try and take the, that water crossing all the way to the island here as they don't want to have to deal with any of the problems that they have here. BAE is going to have two players here on the eastern bridge on the main island side and they're going to be worried about crossing over as there is going to be effectively a little bit of a bridge camp here 
um, if the, the players from Mista are able to spot any of these teams starting to, to make their rotations. But meanwhile, we already see that Extense here having to um, show some people out here as Alan Lembu takes a number of hits here in these stages of the game. And uh, he's going to be able to bug out here after he was trying to just search for a home for Team Vengeance. But Vengeance is going to move onwards. But uh, Dubito here going a little bit close towards this compound here as Kai and Kustik going to try and put up some shots here as they try and get that hopeful knock onto Dubito. Now, um, it looks like it should be successful for him. Maktu here now putting some long range shots on DT2YZ here as uh, Zrocco goes down here. The human shields are coming out here but not able to prevent further hits from landing from his SLR. So Maktu will claim that first kill for Snow Templar in this game. And uh, the rest of Snow Templar are still across the bridge here. So they're going to have to make their way. But Under W Club is setting up shop here and uh, could make things difficult. But we already see that Extends here uh, engage in further fights with uh, Team Vengeance here. As uh, we already see two of the members, Krustik and Kai, moving over from that southern compound. So just trying to meet up with the rest of their team and they can try and catch Vengeance off guard here. Now it's whether Vengeance realizes or not that the that rotation has come in from the two members from Extents and they could potentially take that southern compound which uh, they were actually trying to scout out a little bit earlier on. So they're going to move on in search of those greener pastures but looks like uh, looks like Kayo is still well is here to actually uh, support Maktu here as uh, they try and prevent Yez and the rest of DTYZ here from actually um, advancing too much further at the moment. But Kayo will be backing up a little bit here as he looks to give himself a little bit more breathing room and a better angle to actually stop the players from DTYZ from pushing onto his position too quickly here. Now, given the hill here, it is going to actually prevent them from uh, seeing too much of uh, too much of this side of the, the, the hill from Maktu to actually support his teammate as best he can. But we already see a number of teams here rotating through. Gum Esports Yellow here, four vehicles to their name. They are all moving towards this uh, southern bridge here as they are going to try and um, break through any potential bridge camp. But um, they do actually have a little bit of time. They don't have to worry too much as uh, there is going to be um, all this area in the, of the south part of the main island, which is still going to be inside the zone. But we already see that some people are going for a swim here as L Dogs are going to show their breaststroke uh, finesse here. And uh, now we already see that the other two members from uh, Snow Templar are going to try and make their way away from this zone here. But now comes the potential issues here as we already see that the team members from Snow Templar are aware of the presence here of, of Under W Club as their teammate was trying to loot in this zone. So they're going to go for a little bit of a swim here or at least get to the boat here as uh, Under W Club looking to hold this uh, region of the map here. But it looks like it's going to be a tragedy here for L Dogs here as they're being spotted here by the team members of, uh, of GG Easy and that's going to put them out of their misery in very quick fashion here. So just like that, that's going to be it for Team L Dogs. So they go out in 18th position here after they were caught out. Now the second circle has revealed itself. It is going to shift very hard and central onto the military island. So going to be interesting to see how this this is going to shape up as uh, we progress along. Other teams have not made their rotations over here. Gum Esports Yellow here going to be a little bit wary about uh, advancing further onto this position here. But now it looks like BAE is in a little bit of trouble here after they lost um, Batman earlier on in the round. BAE Swinger goes down and now is going to be pushed by the Resurgence fellows here who are four men strong here. Loki's will be looking to get the res off here but not sure what he can be doing here as the they are fast closing in on this position here. Now others are also making their way. We already see that the team members from Boom Indonesia are making their way down here as well. But now it looks like Aeon pressing up on the left side here of this compound as he looks to hold this flank and prevent the battle arena elites from disengaging from this battle here as they've already taken significant damage already so far in this fight. But now Loki's holding up inside the the shack here but now he is able to withdraw just as that moment Brax is uh, getting the nade off here. Now Kasaki looks as though uh, he's gonna press the issue here but uh, now Loki's and the Loki's and Swinger trying to get away here and Swinger is caught out by Kasaki here and uh, now that's gonna reduce battle arena elites down to one more player one player less 
And uh, now we already see other teams are moving here. Entrov and the rest of Arrowwolf having made it all the way here. They might actually run into the rest of Snow Templars over here. As uh, oh, we also see Extens here having withdrawn from the military island. Have gone to these compounds on the western side of the military base. Um, they are in uh, a little bit of a tussle with DTYZ here. As they look to prevent them from getting in further. But now in the eastern part of the military base. We see the 2-2 split coming out from um, Mineski here. As they look to hold. Uh, this uh, area of the, the landing strip here and they will take out one of the players from Mista the rest of Mista licking their wounds on the further eastern side here by those uh, hangars there but now there are two bridge camps ongoing here guys as we see under W Club holding the western side while Boom Indonesia are holding the eastern side and uh, now it does look like MBT going to be forced to do something here as I'm um, not sure whether or not there are many boats here that are left the blue zone is encroaching and we see Frostfire caught out in the south of the Milt of Power region here and uh, they're going to have to try and do the best that they can to find a boat here but I'm not sure what they can find RRQ already having uh, a long time ago decided to make the swim here and um, should be able to get here in uh, with minimal trouble here but where there is trouble, there's going to be for MBT here as they try and see how to cross this eastern bridge. As there is going to be Boom Indonesia here making it work for the time being. But now the push is coming from DTYZ as they are starting to push across the, the road here. And it uh, looks like Ye is getting eliminated here uh, from the Grenada, in fact. So, um, no, as... SE Rum here has managed to come over here, but he is still facing a lot of pressure from these three team members of uh, Extense. Now, Extense does have, still have the four people up alive for them, so it's going to be interesting to see how that develops. But now, look at, at the counter bridge camp here as the Gum Esports fellows have managed to knock down one of the players from Under W Club and uh, forced to take a little bit of a back seat for their uh, bridge camp here as they are trying to get he rest and healed up quickly but the blue zone is forcing the issue here is forcing gum esports to make their move faster here and now on the eastern bridge here there could be potential problems here for frostfire here as just inside the circle we do have the team members of mbt just trying to make life as difficult as they can but now it looks like gum esports is pushing across the the western bridge now and it will mean that it's going to be uh, more problems here as Cow Idol here, having gone down yet again here, and uh, I'm not sure whether or not he's going to be um, picked up by Love. As uh, that is going to be it for him, Pika finishes him off as he emerges from the smoke here, just trying to get some rest action going here. But the rest of uh, Gum Esports Yellow going to make this difficult. Now the next circle has moved a little bit to the northeastern side of the island here, forcing all these teams to move in rotation at the moment. And uh, looks like Love Tao is going to go down here as two of the players from Under W Club expire just from the, those rotations. So Hui going to try and uh, find an alternative means of getting through here. But now Arrow Wolf is going to try and put the hurt on him as he uh, tries to rotate through the southern road here. And he blows up into a ball of flames as Untruff able to finish him off with the SLR. And uh, that's going to be almost it for Under W Club. They still have 2604 here, who is all the way on the western eastern side of the military compound. But now it looks like uh, MBT forced to push further here as Tyler takes a number of hits while his teammates are facing off against the rest of Frostfire uh, who are still in the blue here. So they're taking a lot of damage here just trying to survive here and they only have uh, one player on this side. Elliot has managed to make his way over here as he managed to find a boat here but Arthur Crosby facing a little bit of problems here. So he got knocked down and eliminated here. So Airwolf reduced in squad strength here as we do see that they are trying to rotate through this zone here currently where the last player for Battle Arena Elites is as well as the team members from Mineski. Mineski just occupying that hill at the moment here. They are going to try and put pressure onto all these other teams rotating through here. And um, they do have a, a number of uh, smokes actually deployed around that hill just to try and um, stave off any of the, the potential uh, long shots coming in here as uh, there are some players on the high ground at the moment as we see that the Snow Templars are here on this platform over here or this elevated uh, level which is actually very next to very much next to Mista who are just in the adjacent compound but other rotations uh, trying to come out here as Taicho goes down for a DTYZ here as the the team members from Team BMW have been uh, watching this zone pretty carefully here and uh, that's going to be it for him. Fidox actually going down here after MBT able to finish him off with the, the VSS. 
but meanwhile we see that extends here having rotated all the way to this uh northeastern compound here just on the edge of uh circle here as loki tries to do his best and he gets mowed down by railgun but now pressure is ex being exerted onto snow templars as they were right in the middle of a crossfire here they have uh, the team members from team bmw squad number 17 on your screen in having him in the sights and trough also getting in on some of the action here for arrow wolf and um he actually gets knocked down as well but it looks like the all the players from snow temple are, are eliminated here and that's going to be it for them but meanwhile we see exagon is going to be the last player up for his team here as he has to fend off this push coming in from team extents now he is um in a very difficult position there are uh, a number of teams all in this region here now the circle has shifted again and it's going to go uh, a little bit to the western side here now all these teams are making their way over resurgence still full strength uh gum esports yellow here also full strength they are going to move in here but now it looks like mbt here facing more pressure here from jatsu and the rest of boom indonesia as they look to finish them off now they only have one player left nobby has gone down to the low ground here so he has to see whether or not he can disengage from this but the rest of uh, boom indonesia are going to set themselves on the bigger picture here as they look to rotate in here now there are not going to be a lot of compounds for these teams to occupy and uh it's going to be difficult for them to exert that map control it is a very hilly region here making it uh very interesting to see how this part is going to develop now um but now it looks like uh the pressure is on for team bmw after having able to take a couple of those fights in this region they have a long way to navigate and they do have uh mineski who are waiting in lying in wait here and putting up the long range fire already but mineski themselves not currently inside the zone but entrov trying to do or exagon um trying to do the best that he can but he gets uh pushed by kai and the rest of uh team extends so that's going to be it for error wolf in this game under w club the last player left alive 2604 trying to get away here from the fire from um uh, mineski here but now it looks like um ping pong and the rest of uh mista here gonna put that pressure onto uh boom indonesia here after cheesy kimbap expires as uh they semi disengage from that eastern bridge only leander is left here while jaiu site and jaiu jaiu q and uh, jatsu here are still alive but they are making their way over i don't think the push is going to come just yet from mista here as they are just happy to be inside the zone here but rrq going to be in a bit of trouble they only have one player left alive here and uh, now we already see mineski here in, clo in closer quarters here together with uh, team bmw here as they try and move up kane here and the rest are just trying to uh, move inside the zone here and looks like kane able to knock down ace here with the scar l but now they are facing some fire from the high ground on their northern side from the mr people and uh now Oh, she Jason just going to try and back up his teammate a little bit here as Ustar is also knocked down together with Voidless here. So leaving only two of them to try and duke it out. The blue zone is moving in though and uh, looks like Elliot here going to be camping in wait here and may maybe able to spot Jarlene here. But uh, he takes a lot of damage in that exchange so Elliot just going to try and confirm the kill here and uh, see whether or not he can get the heal off. But he's only got bandages available to him so he's going to be in a little bit of a difficult spot here. Now see Mista here starting to really open up onto Mineski here who have to divert their attention already away from the team BMW as uh, they also need to prioritize getting inside the zone here as Ace moves around the other side here with his vehicle in search for a, a good flank here and Zerino is moving on the other side here so if they're lucky they should be able to get some good shots but the rest of uh Mista here moving back here as they try and anticipate this pincer movement coming out from uh Pincer movement coming out from uh, Mineski and uh, Azzarino almost uh, eliminated here as he takes another hit from Fire Blaster. Fire Blaster able to catch Ace as well so he's looking good here as he looks to finish off and confirm these two kills while the other two players from uh, Mineski have uh, retreated further to the west side but it looks like Legacy going to get caught out here. Grism is going to be the last player here um, but Fire Blaster gone down already here and Grizzom gonna try and see whether he can confirm the kill or not in this situation but the circle has almost finished closing and uh, with that distraction there for Mineski uh, they didn't engage further with uh, team BMW and uh, they should be getting out here but now in the northwestern side of the circle we already see that uh, 
Got esports yellow here, trying to put some more hurt onto the team members from GG Easy. They take out Mad Dog there, uh, leaving it's only three members left alive. CJ being on the edge here. Now, next circle, it looks as though it's going to be still quite central, but a little bit further south here. But now further rotations are coming out here as we see, oh, Elliot getting naded by uh, Boom Indonesia. And uh, that's going to be it for Frostfire here. Now, the rest of... Uh, Mr. here, squad number 11, are just trying to get a little bit more vision onto the last two play players from Mineski here. They, they have been locking horns for quite some time here, and still part of the military base is still inside the zone here. And uh, we see Kane as the last member here for um, Team BMW as he tries to push the zone, but he's going to have to try and do his best. He is taking a lot of damage. Railgun is going to be able to finish him off. And uh, looks like that's going to be it for Team BMW in this round number two. Now, Resurgence here, going to try and control the north here and uh, really prevent all these other teams. There are quite a number here. There is the three team members from uh, GG Easy as well as um, uh, we also have on this side. I think this is going to be... Um Oh, Boom Indonesia. So yeah, Boom Indonesia still okay. They didn't actually manage to meet up there after two of them broke off from that bridge camp. But they are going to try and deploy all the smokes that they have available as they really do need to uh, disengage from this. But they should have enough cover here. But now Gum Esports Yellow here going to be doing their, their best here as they uh, are mowing down the players here from GG Easy. But it looks like Unexpected able to get a, a knock and a kill there. But Momonji in a little bit of trouble as Kids is pushing up and trying to press the issue here onto the, these last players from GG Easy. And uh, looks like that is going to be it. So GG Easy gets eliminated in 10th position here. Now, still three players left alive for Gum Esports Yellow and uh, six kills to boot. But Resurgence is taking the opportunity to push them as uh, they know that they are going to be uh, busy healing and uh, uh, Aeon WCS is trying to push uh, the furthest forward here as he tries to, to nade the, the smoke here and he is good for it as Pika goes down here. He is also able to get the flank onto kids as well leaving only why so easy alone here. He's going to bug out of this situation and uh, Resurge is going to pick up another couple kills from that exchange here but now we see that extends here moving out from the compound uh, on the north eastern side of the military base here as Pattern a lot tries to catch out the players from Mista uh, Mr. currently using the high ground to their advantage and uh, using the rocks as well, um, getting that extra vision here and trying to get those shots. But Extends here already has seven kills in this game so far and still three players to go. Um, so they are still in a good position to prolong this, but the smokes are coming out here, making it difficult. Paku Paku able to get some shots away, but uh, not able to connect enough there as the circle is just about to close. Railgun is on the on the right flank here and uh, he's going to try and push up fire blaster is down at the moment for mr and looks like paku paku caught out by kai and uh that's going to be it for paku paku but ping pong will be trying to get his teammate up and he has to contend with um boom indonesia as well in the northern side but um le legendary or leander sorry is just going to try and uh heal up a little bit more here as um it looks as though the last player is here being caught out by pattern a lot and that's going to be it now this next circle is going to be central here resurgence has control of the north side of the circle but coming in uh Mineski actually are, are inside the zone at the moment trying to put a little bit of pressure onto extents here prevent them from getting in here well, Leander is also in the similar boat here, but he's probably going to wait and see for this fight to transpire here. So he takes a little bit of cover back into the smoke here as uh, Legacy tries to catch him out. Now, under W Club, still alive here, 2604, having separated a long time ago from the rest of his squad here, is still alive here inside the military compound. Team Vengeance here, um, slowly moving up through the south side here. Still three men strong here, but it looks like uh, Resurgence should be um, taking the, the lead in terms of... Um, how many kills that they can get from this and how much map control that they can exert on this uh, next circle at the moment because it is heavily congested over here as we already see that the extense players here have already managed to move into the circle and uh, not able to or rather um, we saw that the team members from uh, Mineski not able to prevent them from coming in. Leander going to take his time as well. He still has a minute and a half before the circle finishes closing. So he's going to try and time his run back into the circle uh, very carefully here. Now Vengeance is on their move as well. And uh, they move into the, the, the most north barracks here as they look to try and... Um, 
uh, get a little bit of vision as to where some of the other teams are so they can try and plan out exactly how they want these last circles to pan, uh, play out. Now, under W is just going to be staying nice and tight here as they look to uh, just try and survive into the later stages here and get those placement points. Now, of course, there is going to be a point system here for... Um, all the scrim city matches here so the four matches that will be played here are going to have their points totaled up and uh yeah we will still be having a winner at the end of each day so again we saw rrq take the first chicken dinner of the day and resurgence coming in second so resurgence looking pretty good today here and um, they're looking to take this chicken dinner with this strong position that they have here as they are able to uh, not be in such a congested area and run the risk of losing their players early in this game but now we will be seeing that the circle will be closing here. These teams not wanting to make too many moves just yet here, as of course it could be detrimental for them, as um, they want to see whether or not they are going to have the good position moving forward. But Resurgence does have that good high ground advantage, not not least the fact that they control that zone of the map here. But it looks like everyone is going to have to move, as uh, it is very much centered here. Resurgence is going to have to come down from the high ground, Vengeance is going to have to cross this uh, very open road here. And uh, all these teams here, not going to be uh, easy for them to disengage without getting shot in the back. Uh, Leander here, all the way on this side, while Legacy and Grism are lying prone here, waiting for any of these team members from um, Extends here to pop over the top. But looks like Extends here does want to press the issue here. They want to finish this fight early as they want to prevent um, them getting shot in the back here and uh, not take this fight later on in, in the circle. But Grizzom able to surprise Railgun and finish him off. Kai will be coming up with the hit here. But Pattern a lot does spot Legacy. And um, looks like that's going to be it. But Extends now reduced down to two members. Leander also um, still on the edge of the circle here. So he's going to take his time coming in. But looks like um, 2604 not able to carry the torch for Under W Club anymore here. As he gets eliminated by Team Vengeance. Kasaki and Brax have moved down. Uh, further south here as they look to control this edge of the circle while uh, Quadro and Aeon WCS try, try to uh, prevent further flanks coming in from the northern side but Kasaki getting knocked down by Alan Lembu as he managed to land a nice headshot with the SKS. Now the smokes are coming out and this could be the moment for Vengeance to uh, try and get across the, the road here. Uh, at least they become a little bit trapped here on this side of the military base as there's uh, the blue zone is on the move at the moment and they are going to have to try and um, uh, estimate when is the best time to move but we are see Leander expiring as he takes those last shots on Kai he will be able to get the knock pattern a lot probably won't be able to do much about this but now that vengeance hasn't moved and that's given um, resurgence here the time to repo reposition here as Quadro is moving down but ANWCS actually getting hit by the I think I'm not sure whether he's AFK or he got hit and uh, the blue zone finished him off but Looks, looks like it's a bit of shooting gallery now as uh, Vengeance just trying to make their way over, but it's going to be incredibly difficult for them. But they are in the middle, or rather they are still inside the zone there, uh, as the defense line will offer them a little bit of protection here. But it only takes um, the next and final circle to really put a spanner in the works for these teams and their aspirations. Pattern a lot going to be very much on the edge here as he looks to try and just survive a little bit more for Team Extends here. Now, the, the next zone is going to reveal itself, and it looks like Resurgence is going to have the ball here, as uh, they're already partly inside the zone at the moment. Now, Pattern a lot is going to probably wait and see when he can actually strike here, as uh, we do know that the, um, the, there is going to be a 3-on-3 three -three battle between uh, Resurgence and Vengeance at the moment. But Vengeance at the moment on lockdown here, as they are all having to um, just lie prone here by the side of the, the fence as they... As the moment that they pop out, Quadro is going to start picking them off. So he's in a good position here to prevent them from making things further difficult. And Brax and um, Brax and uh, Kasake moving over to the other side of the circle here as they look to try and uh, close out um, where the last players are left alive. So I'm not sure whether or not that they are aware of how many team members are on the other side, but they should know that there is going to be another party here that they have to consider in this battle for now. But the smokes are starting to come out. Uh, Pattern a lot is going to get off that adrenaline and uh, look to just um, 
try and survive any potential fights here. But now it looks like Vengeance here on the move as uh, they are trying to get in, but uh, they're facing a lot of problems here. Alan Lembu facing off against Quadro here, and uh, looks like Quadro is going to be stuck out in the blue here, and uh, Alan Lembu is trying to get the last few hits onto him, but he gets picked off by the other two players of Resurgence who managed to finish off uh, Extents as well. But now they all have the high ground here, and it looks increasingly difficult for them to push up this hill. Now, Rax and the rest here just trying to put some hits, but Dubito able to take out uh, Kasake there. So now it's going to be... Oh, Quadro getting knocked down as well, but Brax will be able to finish it for Resurgence as they were reduced down to just one player left in those closing moments there, but they're able to clutch it as they finish off two of the last teams in that final moment. So Resurgence looked pretty strong in this round. They did have four players at the start and they were really able to, to show uh, their strength here in the, controlling a lot of the teams here on the northern side of the military island circle. So they did have some good high ground and they really uh, suffocated Vengeance to a certain extent as it was going to be increasingly difficult for them to move uh, a little bit further. Um, but yeah, they did actually get across and they were able to take down two of the resurgent players. Um, I'm not sure. I think AMWCS also like... I'm not sure whether he was uh, AFK or um, he was actually hit and then got touched by the blue. But um, yeah, he, he passed away. Then we had uh, Kasake and uh, Quadro going down, but Brax able to come out with it. And in third place, we did see that um, they were able to stay alive with one player left, uh, Team Extends here. So they were able to uh, yeah try and uh, wait it out as long as possible. And then we saw Leander also snaking his way as he took down uh, one of the two players. Uh, he took down Kai with the, the Groza, but um, not, not much chance for him getting in the, the zone. So he was finished off by that last player as well. And then under W Club getting in fifth position here, as we saw 2604, able to stay alive in the very later stages. But he was caught out by the Team Vengeance players as uh, he tried to get a little bit further in the military compound. So that is going to be it for round number two, guys. Again, apologize for um, the fact that uh, round number two had to be remade. So you're watching the play of the J on Twitch. So if you're enjoying the content, you like what you're watching, please do give me a, a follow as uh, you'll be able to be kept up to date when I next go live for some of my future streams commentating scrim matches. So thanks again for watching, guys. And uh, when we return, we'll be back for round number three as we move to Miramar. So stay tuned.